Here's a Fender 57 Twin or a low-powered Tweed Twin reissue. It's working well. It's quiet. Sounds good. No obvious issues. Just wanted to take a few minutes to inspect the circuit and see if anything needs attention. Here's the back panel. And when I removed it, I was actually pleasantly surprised to find that there is a ground strap connecting the foil to the chassis. And it's screwed in in the empty hole, you see, just behind that green ground wire. And that obviously completed the shielding of the entire chassis. Fender's plastic push-on connectors Thankfully look to be in good shape. No discoloration, no burning. We've got four ceramic octal tube sockets, two for the rectifiers. I've only got one plugged in because that's all I need. Another two for the power tubes. I'm pretty sure these are original. Groove tubes, fender labeled. GT6L6GEs. And I believe if you read online, you'll find all sorts of controversy about whether or not any of these tubes are ever actually built in the United States or not. Coming across, and this is really what I wanted to check, here are the electrolytic capacitors, and they are all leaking. So they need to be replaced. This one's leaking as well. But apart from that, nothing strikes me as particularly out of the ordinary. You could see the brass plate, which is a nice touch between the pots and the top of the chassis. Now this board is not exactly the traditional type. It's rigid. And it is on standoffs, which I'm trying to show here, that are about a half inch off the back of the chassis. So there's no bottom board or backer behind this, which means when replacing components, you need to be careful not to push leads so deeply that they ground out against the chassis. And you also have to be careful not to lose any of the leads that are meant to be on the backside while you're working and perhaps removing solder from a connection. So I'll have to give that some thought before I take any action. But I think for now, that's pretty much it. I may do some testing of these caps just to see what condition they're in, at least from a measurement perspective, but regardless, they're gonna get changed.